This is how fertile cervical mucus should look like. Stretchy, clear and resembling raw egg white. You should be able to stretch it several centimeters between your fingers without it breaking because this is a perfect environment for sperm to survive and travel towards your egg. Now you might be wondering, is this my actual cervical mucus or is it egg white? Well, if you follow my content closely, you will know where I'm in my cycle. And then you can guess if it's real or egg white, so you know the answer. I'll let you guess that. Now, let's get serious. If your cervical mucus is dry or barely there during your fertile window, this is a sign that your hormones are not supporting ovulation properly. After ovulation, progesterone rises and cervical mucus naturally dries up. But during ovulation, it should be present because estrogen signals your cervix to produce this fertile fluid that keeps sperm alive. And it might be able to live in there for up to five days. Now, if it's dry or you feel nothing but friction, sperm will die within minutes. And even if you do ovulate, the chances of fertilization drastically drop. And yes, you can use a fertility lubricant like Pre-Seed. Now, I'm not affiliated, uh, but it really works. So, because it mimics fertile mucus best. But if you do have chronic dryness, this isn't just a lubrication problem. It's a hormone imbalance problem. You might have low estrogen, high cortisol, thyroid dysfunction, perimenopause, post-birth control, insulin resistance. And these are all major reasons your body has stopped producing fertile cervical mucus. And what most of you might not even realize is that cervical mucus isn't just to help you to get pregnant. It's also an early marker of whether your body is producing enough estrogen to thicken your uterine lining. So if it is dry leading up to ovulation, chances are you may also struggle with implantation because if the mucus isn't there, the lining usually isn't ready either. Cervical mucus is one of the most powerful fertility signs. So do not ignore that and don't guess and definitely don't assume it's normal if it's missing. If you need help restoring your fertile mucus, your hormones and preparing your body for conception the right way, that's exactly what I do inside my fertility circle. So go and join now.